Why don't we just say something? It's okay. You're talking about all, all of the of members, us, everybody, member, whoever. Everybody, even the EWF, take that man off the land. And if you know, if you have the, the, the laws that say, or the books that say what that land is for and who to use that land, deal with that. Justice, you know? We have to deal with that. I think that is where some of the mix-up is coming in now because he says he is Rasta. So if he is Rasta, I guess he is saying that he is entitled to go there even though originally as EWF, Ethiopian World Federation land, it was set up for Ethiopians in exile. You know what? I understand what you're saying as Rasta. But the... But he keep complaining that nobody there like him and he can't get along with anybody. So why are you there? You're trying to prove something? But wasn't it the same in New York? Yeah, exactly the same in New York. So it's, I don't do what you're trying to do. He's but I notice you dismantle the organization in you. You match it up and run away. And have the people, everybody against each other. And, and it goes nowhere. So he wants to lead people who don't want to be led by him. Mm. Um, in Shashamani, he wrote that they don't want to take his, his advices or whatever it is because he marks them about incorporating. But I think they're smart because if he incorporates somebody, becomes the president. And if he does the paperwork, it would be him. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I mean? How much control, how much ego, how much control, mm -hmm. you know? Th These are serious questions. Really, really want. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like reading about why did Mussolini want Ethiopia so much? Why? Because once he get Ethiopia, he get the whole of East Africa up the sea coast, from all the whole of that. And it become Italio, Africa, mm. Italio. Italian Empire. Yeah, the Italian Empire. Piece of the pie. And I bet you them would put up for them. Flag? Flag and monarchy. Mm. You understand? That was the plan. That was the plan. And we need to stop formulating coups. Because coups are not just in politics, in government. We formulate coups, uh, coups amongst each other. And it makes no sense. We get nowhere because it's the biggest trick. The colonial slave masters, imperialists, you understand, terrorists. Those are the tricks they use. You know what they do? One of the things they do, they infiltrate the educational system. Mm -hmm. They're dumbing, them dumbing down the youth right now. Right. And... Like I said, they, they make it as if their science, their ways is more modern and it could lead to a better path. But, and that way, the scholars believe that no, they have become truly scholars, they have learned. Hmm. Not realizing hmm. that they're creating a dissension and the only way you can modernize is the base of it is still the original mm. you know mm. good word so you still need what they have and what we have is so good and we had great empires we had fruitful villages we had communities you know with structure organization you know, we had so much precious stones that they say is so precious and put a price on it. We didn't even put a price on that. So what is really holding us back now then, really? Love, man, love. Or the lack of love? The lack of love. Between each other? Each other, yeah. At the end of the day, the spirit is still there. We have to call up on our spirit, man. Sometimes, because we make mistakes, we falter. Sometimes, you know, I look at something and I mean to say something and I realize, damn, 
brainwashed part that <laughs> <laughs> I can't think that kind of way. Ooh, Sandra and I hit my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, when they did the method, you see the thing. The, the brainwashing. The brain, ooh, ooh. It's hundreds and hundreds of years. It is set and it really. Mental slavery. slavery and mm. it's really. A real it's, thing. It's a real yeah, thing. Man. You know? Yeah. It's a real, real, it's a real, 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 real thing. thing. That even when, I mean, imagine you can look on your king and your empire and say, oh, that no good, we don't want that. And then you go praise some foreign thing that you know nothing of. The mind, you see how they warp that mind. Mm -hmm. You know? How can you, it's, it's, it's serious. Emancipate yourself from, from mental, mental slavery. slavery. None but, but ourselves can, can free our, our minds. minds. And we really, 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 yeah. It's a, and it's not just a daily work, you know. It's every second, every minute, you know. Sometimes you look in this world and there's a part of this that is so fake. Not just a part, but... Mm, the most of it. You ever find yourself, okay, you're here, you're living, say you're living in America, but do you really feel like you belong? Are you truly accepted? Do you really have your human rights, your God-given rights? Because even Larry say, if you have an opinion different from his, you're insubordinate. And that's supposed to be... A human right. I, that is a human right, because... God created me and he gave me a brain. Mm -hmm. And he wants me to use it. To use it. Because what else would he be giving it to me for? And then you have someone who come in and because you have that now and you're exercising that your person who say they are one of us. Kick you out and say you're being insubordinate because you're not thinking the same way or obeying. You're not obeying the order that he set forth. You know? And it's as if everyone gets timid. I remember the night when Larry took me off the bench. I could cry. I could feel it hurt from inside. Because when you look, not one would say, that's not right. Not one would call and say, you're OK. But maybe they don't realize the pain because they don't know the sacrifice that was made. You're talking your own My brethren own and sisters. and sisters. They don't know the sacrifice because a lot come new and a lot was not really original New York members. And a lot come in new. So maybe they don't understand. And then you get tied up, you know. Like I said, I remember when we used to reason. It wasn't gossip. Then it, once you get to the gossip and, and, and the rumor rising and start malingering into people personal, things mash up, mm. mash up, mm. and judgment, mm. and what they say, it is easier for the light to reach halfway around the world before the truth can even put on the shoe. So the belief of the lies just spread, 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 and become like a rolling mass. You, you know what I mean? Say that one again. It is, it, is, it is easier for it's, what? It's quicker for the lie to reach for the lie. Half, lie oh. to reach halfway around the world before the truth can even put on the shoe. Ah. That means yeah, lies. It spread man. Mm. You know? So you know that I read that what God said. That he put the commandments. Okay. Cause him no we're gonna make mistake, you know. But him said one thing that he hate the most. And it's a man that will sow this card. Amongst his brethren. Amongst his brethren. And funny enough, I was reading Marcus God who talk about the propaganda. Mm. And what words can do mm. that they are more effective mm. in war mm. than chemical mm. weapons. You see what I mean? Mm. So we take a lot of things lightly, you know. Oh, I just a book, man. I just film talk, man. Hey. No, it's lies. And it's lies that will cripple and cramp us. Mm -hmm. And make our children, generation to generation, suffer again under a metal whip. Mm -hmm. You understand? And the kind of chains that will be placed on is unimaginable. Mm -hmm. So if it's that what we want for them, all right. 
But if we are speaking, seeking the truth and we want freedom and we want love and we want peace, mm. you understand? Then we have to address this. But it's really very dangerous. Mm. You know, it's, it's, you know, very, very dangerous. 